Welcome everyone to the University of Utah, simply known as the U. At this prestigious public university, a laser focus on innovation, creativity, and top academics attracts globally minded scholars and world-class faculty into a creative and community minded campus. A tier one research institution, the U uses its research prowess to create unique and nationally renowned academic programs from entrepreneurship and innovation to video game design. So you graduates not only launch careers at top companies, they launch the companies themselves. Located in Salt Lake City, a foodie paradise with cultural and sporting events galore, the vibe around here combines city life with natural beauty. Four seasons of outdoor adventures await right in their backyard, world-class skiing and snowboarding, mountain biking, whitewater rafting, canyoneering, scuba diving, dune surfing and spelunking. Trust me, there's a lot to do here. I'm your host, Alex Boylan, and today we're gonna to explore this remarkable place through the stories of just some of its outstanding students. Wait until you hear the stories of what these leaders are striving for at the U. Welcome to the University of Utah. This is the College Tour. This is gonna be great. Now we're gonna hear from Austin. Austin is a sophomore from Erda, Utah, and is studying information sciences and entrepreneurship. He's a young entrepreneur, and luckily for him, the University of Utah was ranked in the top 10 schools for entrepreneurship by US News and World Report. Okay, Austin, we all would love to hear what you've been up to. Thanks, Alex. When I was searching for the right college to enroll in, I knew I didn't want the standard college plan of school for eight months and work for four months. I knew I wanted to build something unique and something exciting during my time here at college. I chose the University of Utah because of the resources that they have available to student entrepreneurs like me. Back in high school, I had some previous experience DJing and doing audio production, and I knew that I wanted to build a business around that passion. The Lassonde Entrepreneurship Department at the University of Utah made that idea possible. Lassonde is a nationally ranked entrepreneurship department and has been featured in plenty of academic and business journals. Lassonde features Lassonde Studios, which is a student dorm of about 400 student entrepreneurs, innovators, and inventors. Here at Lassonde Studios, the motto is live, create, launch, and that's exactly what they helped me to do. Lassonde offers networking events, funding, office space, and even branding and legal advice that helped me form and launch my company. And just like that, Argus Entertainment was born. Now, a year later, between a slew of on-campus events, private parties, and weddings, Lassonde continues to push my company to grow and expand day by day. The University of Utah is full of explorers, innovators, and inventors. And we're doing more than just addressing pain points and solving problems. We're creating the future. The Lassonde 400, and by extension, the entire university, wake up every day and decide to do something new, something exciting, something unique. This community works together to make the U the hottest spot in Utah. From cutting edge medical research to Olympic level gymnasts and beyond, the U is creating the stories that will last for generations. What's next, Alex? Thank you, Austin. That is why they call this place Imagine You. I'm really impressed by how much support the university gives to students starting their own businesses at no additional cost. You've already accomplished so much and we can't wait to watch your business grow. Keep up the great work. Take care, Austin. I am so pumped to introduce you to our next student because she's all about pumping up others. Avery is the president of the mighty Utah student section, or MUS as they call it. If you've ever been to a Pac-12 sporting event, you know spirit runs high and the MUS's dedication is unparalleled. Give us the inside scoop, Avery. What's up, Alex? So I was raised a huge Utah fan. So attending the University of Utah was a no brainer for me. I wanted to go to the school that I already knew and cheer for the sports scenes that I grew up loving. The University of Utah is known for its incredible fan base, especially its student fans. The MUS, its student section, also known as the Mighty Utah Student Section, is considered to be one of the best in the country. The word MUS comes from our fight song and means a state of chaos or disorder, which is super fitting considering the role of the MUS is to disrupt our opponents and create a hostile environment for them. 
Our traditions are part of what make the MUS so amazing. Before every single home game, we have a tailgate where students can come grab some food, hang out with their friends, get to know other people, and win prizes like sideline passes and front row tickets. At the game, you can see one of our most famous traditions, the third down jump. Every time the opposing offense is on third down, we raise our threes, get as loud as possible, and try to cause a false start. My personal favorite tradition is called the Must Bus. 150 students travel by bus to one of our away games to help provide a home field advantage that Utah football would get if they were playing in Bryce Eccles Stadium. These are just a few of the traditions that connect students to other fans with players and coaches and the rest of the University of Utah and helps establish that sense of community, or we like to call it family, that is so unique to the University of Utah. I've had the incredible opportunity to serve on MUS leadership since 2019, and this year be the president of the MUS. A goal of ours is to help instill that passion or love for the University of Utah in its students. Being a part of making that happen has been so much fun. I have a huge passion for the University of Utah and its athletics, and I love passing that on to other students. The connections and relationships I've built during my time at the University of Utah have been so valuable to me. My experiences in the MUS have allowed me to get to know and build relationships with people that I would have never gotten the chance to otherwise. It has definitely been one of the best parts of my college experience. How about you come meet us in the MUS, Alex? That's amazing, Avery. It's clear the MUS makes good on the Utah fight song's promise that their yell can be heard ringing through the mountains here. I'm so impressed that you're able to play such a large role on campus, bringing together thousands of fans while completing your history major and chemistry minor. Thanks for sharing your time with us. That was absolutely excellent. I want to introduce you now to Muskan. Not many folks think of liberal arts when they hear Research One University, but Muskan is going to tell us why the U proves them wrong. She's a sophomore majoring in math and philosophy with a minor in chemistry and is a scholar through and through. Passing over to you, Muskan. Thanks for that introduction, Alex. Hello, hello, everyone. I am stoked to be here with you all today. The journey that I've been on to get me to this exact point has been beautifully unexpected. I turned down some offers from some Ivy League colleges to attend the phenomenal University of Utah Honors College. I am so grateful that my heart steered me to this institution because this community has nurtured the multitude of unique interests that I carry. I have found myself completely immersed in my math and philosophy studies and my work as an undergraduate researcher and environmental organizer. With support from the University of Utah, I am following through with my commitment to a more just future. My liberal arts education encourages me to think and question critically, listen deeply, and open my heart to a life of learning. This university believes in my pursuit to pursue science through the lens of the humanities and policy. With a myriad of curricula available to study, thoughtful discussions to be had within the classroom, and a campus that promotes collaboration and interdisciplinary studies, the opportunities to lead, explore, and innovate in the humanities, arts, and sciences are truly boundless. My favorite interdisciplinary courses so far have been Ethics, Science, and Wisdom, Science in a Changing World, Radical Quiet, Cross-Cultural Dialogue, Mathematical Biology, and History and Philosophy of Science. Here, you can truly find a well-rounded education that advocates for reasoning, logic, creativity, accessible communication, and empathy. This journey has been one that has brought immense gratification, and that's something I've learned to treasure because of my community here at the University of Utah. Thank you so much for letting me share my story. Now let's turn it back to Alex. What do you got for us, Alex? Those classes sound incredible, Muskan. I love how you've developed your academic passions, finding your ways to engage with them both in and out of the classroom. With over 100 majors offered at the University of Utah, it's no surprise you wanted to pursue more than one. Thanks again, Muskan. That was fantastic. Salt Lake City has long been popular with startups and health nuts. Even the squirrels are fit here. Students at the U can explore the city with free public transit. And Lexi is going to tell us what makes this place so special for college students and young alumni. What's the scoop on SLC, Lexi? Hello, everyone, and welcome to the University of Utah. Growing up in the state of Utah, I always had a great love for the outdoors. 
I love visiting national parks, camping, skiing, and hiking with my family and friends. And when it came time to choose a school, I really wanted to pick one that would allow me to do the things that I love while still having that traditional college experience. The location of our campus is really unique. The University of Utah is nestled between downtown Salt Lake and the Wasatch Mountains, so students are able to enjoy both the outdoors and city life. There are so many cool things to do here, from hiking and camping to visiting art museums and galleries. On the weekend or even between classes, students can hike the living room trail, visit Olympic venues from the 2002 games, or grab a bite to eat at one of the multitudes of restaurants minutes away from campus. During the winter, you get to experience the famous Utah snow, which turns our city into a winter wonderland and brings about additional activities like skiing and snowboarding, visiting the Temple Square Christmas lights, and outdoor ice skating at the Gallivan Center. Personally, my love for the great outdoors has only grown since living in Salt Lake. And with several major ski resorts only a 30 minute drive away, over 100 miles of hiking and biking trails, fishing and wildlife expeditions, it's super easy to get your fix. All in all, no matter what your interests are, you're certain to find someone on campus who shares that interest too. And you don't have to travel very far to participate. I have loved attending the U and living in Salt Lake and it's definitely a city you wanna keep on your radar. What's next, Alex? Very cool. Now, while Lexi's minors are in theater and chemistry, her majors are in health and kinesiology with a wilderness emergency medical services emphasis. Her friends are really lucky to have her around on their outdoor adventures. Thanks for talking to us about the hidden gem that is Salt Lake City. I'd like to introduce you to our recent alumnus of the U. Brian graduated in 2020 and earned his bachelor's in film and media arts, entertainment arts, and engineering with a double minor in games and animation. The U is one of the top ranked schools for game design and Brian's gonna share his incredible experiences studying and developing games. Thanks so much for that introduction, Alex. I'm standing here inside Building 72, home base to the Entertainment and Arts Engineering Department where students are cultivating their skills into making the next hit video game. When I was young, I used to play with Legos and not so much in the traditional sense of building sets, but utilizing those pieces and making prototypes for board games. This was my real first taste into game design. My academic career was busy to say the least. When I started college, I launched my game company at the same time. I knew I needed a university that was gonna cultivate my interests. After a little bit of research, I found there was no better place than the University of Utah. They have over 99 published student games that are on a variety of platforms that you can download and play right now. Games that the students own. We're not just students in this department. We're independent developers all working together to create something amazing. It's a culture that just hits different. And not only from the incredible faculty and staff, but the vast diverse group of people you get to work with. Every single semester we have something called the EAE Play Day. It's a chance for the public to come onto campus and actually play what you've been working on. It's a chance to not only show off your work, but get real user feedback. It is an essential part of game development and a skill that you'd use at a AAA company or as an independent. Whatever path you choose, know that you have a place here with the EAE family. I'm absolutely proud to be considered part of this amazing group of people and I look forward to releasing more games in the future. And hey, we're always looking for more gamers. What do you say, Alex? I can't wait to play, Brian. What you're doing is such a great example of how University of Utah students combine the technical and the creative. It's fascinating how you bring real life gamers to actually test out your products and make them even better. Thanks for teaching us about this unique field of study. Salt Lake City is a hub for filmmakers, ballet dancers, and actors. Not to be outdone by their professional peers, the students at the University of Utah are exceptional artists. I want you to meet T. Pullen from Kentucky. They are a senior majoring in musical theater and minoring in photography. What's going on stage and in the darkroom, T? Hello, beautiful souls. As a queer child growing up in a small conservative town, I really learned the importance of dancing to the beat of your own drum, no matter what other people might think. Because of that, I marched 1,200 miles to Utah to choreograph the dance of a lifetime, college. The Department of Theater is truly a remarkable place to embody a fierce expression of your eccentric self and see a metamorphosis in the world around you. 
living and learning in a space that's incredibly inclusive has allowed me to transform into a brighter, bolder, and braver student, musical theater performer, and human. I've sponged up countless opportunities because of this program. Performing in multiple stage productions with some brilliant people I made some really special connections with. Invaluable leadership working for the Department of Theater through work study, both helping me pay for tuition and gain vital experience. Being privileged to serve as the SAC Collective Representative, which is a student-run organization dedicated to advocating for our peers through bonding, community service, and calls to action for change. And pre-professional experience. I'll be performing in Salt Lake's professional theater this December and doing an internship with them in the spring all before I'm done with college with some of my best friends. Every day is unique at the U. Because the musical theater program is newer, they're constantly experimenting with master classes, workshops, and performances. Our department is currently tackling tough conversations like inequity and representation in theater, and launching a season of new and inclusive plays, musicals, and collaborative projects. And by 2023, you theater students will be getting standing ovations in a brand new state-of-the-art theater space. Learning to dance through life is a process, and because of the U, I'm confident I can choreograph through the challenges and celebrations of life. Let's see your moves, Alex. <laughs> I'm sure my moves have nothing on yours, T. Maybe mine might make the blooper reel. Thanks for sharing the opportunity that you provides artists to both showcase their art and to delve into the history and theoretical frameworks that are just behind the scenes. Break a leg out there, T. Thanks again for that. We're gonna check in with Miles, a sophomore from Roy, Utah. Even though he's been at the University of Utah for a brief period of time, he's already making the most of it, not only for himself, but for incoming students as well. Tell us what you've been up to, Miles. Thanks, Alex. Hey, everyone, after high school, the number one thing I wanted to do was get involved in college, so that way I could get more of that college experience. I'm so glad that I decided to start this next chapter of my life here at the University of Utah. As an orientation leader, the number one piece of advice I give to each new student is to get involved, whether it be in Greek life, student government, the Union Programming Council, or intramural sports. There's so many opportunities to find a sense of belonging, especially for new students. The Freshman Ambassador Board is a great way to get connected to campus life. In fact, FAB helped me jumpstart my career in the Union Programming Council, now as an assistant director on the Arts and Special Events Board. I'm also a member of the Red Army Practice Squad for the women's basketball team, where I got to help play and practice against the team to help them prepare for games. No matter what you like, there's a place here for you, the U. I love being a student at the David Eccles School of Business, especially the Business Scholars Program, where I've made so many great connections and mentors. The classes and professors give you a great space to take the knowledge you've learned in class and give it a real-world application. I've been able to start my own business, Royal Kicks, customizing sneakers, while hundreds of other students were able to start their own businesses here at the U as well. Regardless of your major, class, or interest, there's an opportunity to get involved here at the University of Utah. We're only here for a short time, so we may as well make the most of it. Right, Alex? I couldn't agree more, Miles. With over 600 student organizations, how can you help but get involved at the U? It's obvious that this place has a welcoming and engaging student body. We all really appreciate your insight. Take care. Utah is known for its deserts, but the university boasts three swimming pools and a 33-person hot tub on campus. Our next student, Natalie, spends a lot of time in the pool, but you can also find her in the lab as she completes her degree in biology and minors in chem and biomedical engineering. Tell us about your experiences, Natalie. Thanks, Alex. I've always loved medicine and science, so coming to the U was an easy decision because there are great programs in both areas here at the university. A big part of my life has always been competing in sports. I've been swimming for basically my entire life and competing since the age of seven. In high school, I also found the amazing sport of water polo. This means that when I started college, I immediately went looking for a women's water polo team. I love that I've been able to continue my busy academic life while also competing in the sport that I adore. 
Finding the balance between classes, volunteering, clubs, and other extracurriculars also means that I've been able to forge great relationships with my professors along the way. Even during a big health issue where I needed surgery, I didn't miss a single assignment. The professors here truly are committed to their students and they're dedicated to their learning experiences. When you come to the University of Utah, prepare yourself to walk down a beautiful campus, meet lots of amazing people, and be able to compete in sports at every level. From intramural to club to D1, we really do have it all. And definitely try out for water polo. When I apply to medical school in the spring, I can do so confidently, knowing that I've had a great undergraduate experience to back me up. I have faculty that support me and friends to last a lifetime. My journey as a student and as a water polo player aren't over yet, and we're excited for what's next. Right, Alex? Absolutely, Natalie. The professors who guide and support you are so crucial to the college experience, and the youth faculty is top notch. Thank you for sharing how they impacted your life beyond the lectures and the labs, and best of luck for the upcoming water polo season we all will be watching and cheering you on. Okay, everyone, let's get to know Alyssa. She's a sophomore majoring in political science with a minor in business, and she plans to become a lawyer. The U offers 12 pre-professional advising tracks, and Alyssa is gonna explain how the U's pre-law program has put her on the path to achieve her future goals. Take it away, Alyssa. Thanks, Alex. My education is the most important thing to me. As a first-generation student, I've been able to uncover the stepping stones to law school here at the U with the help of their pre-professional programs. I was looking for a university that was close to home because friends and family are everything to me, and one that also offered me the tools to be successful in my future career. The U has it all. Its world-renowned professors, diversity, welcoming culture, and pre-professional programs were exciting to me as a prospective student. The U offers professional advising and helped me learn the path that I wanted to take. I eventually joined the Pre-Law Leap program. This three-year cohort program has brought me many friends who share my same interests and has also exposed me to what the law is really like. We've read books about Supreme Court justices, we've heard from many lawyers and judges about their daily lives, and we've also learned what to expect for law school. It is also helping me get an internship at a local law firm and preparing me for my future endeavors ahead. Of course, I'm still going on adventures around Utah and love going to concerts and games here. I never would have imagined that I would have so much fun while discovering myself and my passions in college. The U's pre-professional advising programs and learning cohorts can help you on your personal journey to success. And that is why I've loved the U. I'm exactly where I meant to be. I can't wait for law school because I know that the connections, mindset, and skills that I've gained during my time here at the U, that I'll be successful in whatever I put my mind to. That's my story. Thanks for listening. Back to you, Alex. Thank you so much, Alyssa. I loved hearing about how the LEAP program not only gave you access to professional development, but also strengthened your connection to the school community. We wish you luck on your path to law school. Thanks again. College students, no matter where they've come from or where they're attending, often share a major concern. How do I find my place and people? Sally is a sophomore business major, and she's got great perspective from her first year at the U. Talk to us, Sally. Thanks so much, Alex. Hi, everyone. Growing up and living in a less diverse hometown, I knew I wanted to be somewhere where I felt I belonged. The first thing I love about the U was its many resources for minorities as well as middle income students. I ultimately chose the U because I got offered a full ride scholarship. This was not only a big win for me, but for my parents as well. Getting a full ride scholarship not only allows me to truly explore the options within my major, but also guarantees that I have the money to complete whichever degree I choose. I applied for the Freshman Ambassador Board, a program for freshmen to get involved with student leadership and campus life the best decision that I've ever made. I've met so many diverse and amazing peers that have not only helped me feel at home, but have become my closest friends. They also encourage me to go after any opportunity that I desire. 
I gained the courage to apply to be an associate director of the Crimson Knights Board, who plans the largest late night on campus party. There's free food and activities, and it's really just a great way for students to meet others and feel welcome here at the U. I was also an orientation leader and I'm currently a campus life mentor as well as a university ambassador. All of these are only a small portion of the many other involvement opportunities here for students. If you have the chance to go after an opportunity that you are interested in, take it. College is more than just a degree. It's also about the relationships and experiences you create. But that's all for me. I'll hand it back to you, Alex. Thank you, Sally. It's so important to remember that college isn't just about what you study, but who you're studying with. Thank you for that reminder. And congratulations on all you've accomplished as a student leader. Take care. If you look east from lower campus, you'll see the state-of-the-art University of Utah Hospital and collection of health centers. The facilities are used to train future doctors and to serve the health needs of people from all over the state. Recent alumnus, Sunny, is gonna tell us a bit more about the opportunities for students seeking to work in the medical field. Thank you for the introduction, Alex. Ever since I was little, I knew I wanted to be a physician, but I also wanted to do research to improve the quality of life of individuals. The biomedical engineering program at the University of Utah set me up with a strong foothold as they prepared their students to solve real world problems in engineering and medicine. Starting freshman year, we were immersed in human biology and its implications on engineering principles. We learned anatomy and physiology from an engineering perspective. Through our capstone project, we were able to work with medical professionals to solve issues with current medical devices. The engineering department puts a huge focus on hands-on experience as each student is required to participate in research in a lab and write a senior thesis. I had the amazing opportunity of working with Dr. Gregory Clark as his lab works to utilize electrodes implanted in peripheral nerves to reanimate paralyzed muscles and to control advanced prostheses. The University of Utah's commitment to groundbreaking research is shown through its investment in resources, interdepartmental collaboration, and by the ingenuity of its faculty. By providing opportunities for students to participate in research, the University of Utah shows its commitment to the future of its students. The University of Utah's pre-health, biomedical engineering, and research programs have prepared me tremendously for the future. That's all from me, Alex. Take it away. Thanks, Sunny. Your research and the innovation that you bring to helping people live healthier, happier lives is incredible. We appreciate you sharing your story. Congratulations on your recent graduation and best wishes as you continue your path helping others. It's no surprise that Sydney, who's getting her BFA in graphic design, has a passion for the aesthetic. The architecture and interior design of the University of Utah were major draws for her. And she's gonna tell us about the value of living with the peers you learn with. Take it away, Sydney. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. I love to meet new people and express myself through art. And some of my hobbies include playing the guitar and singing. You can usually find me in various coffee shops, either studying or drawing, and I love to hike our beautiful mountains. The University of Utah was the only school that I applied to. I saw the many living options on the housing website, and I knew this was a place that I would feel welcomed. On campus, we have access to many different resources, including the Student Life Center, the Union, the library, campus dining, and so much more. I love to stay involved on campus, and one of the many things I do is serve as a resident advisor. In my position, I help residents in my hall improve their experience at the U. I enforce policies to keep our community safe, plan activities, and connect with residents. There are nine residential buildings on campus, plus two buildings off campus in the heart of Salt Lake City. There are different themed communities in some buildings, so it's easy to get immersed in your interests. You can also go to one of the many events on campus that helps you build connections with others. 
Though I've only spent one year living on campus, I've learned and grown so much. When you live on campus at the University of Utah, you get more than just academics. I'm thankful to be able to collaborate with my fellow residents, to build a better world, and have fun while earning my degree. That's all from me. Back to you, Alex. Well, thank you, Sydney. It's great that the U offers so much flexibility in its housing and is able to create community connections even on an urban campus. I'm sure the students you serve as an RA appreciate your dedication in making them feel safe and cared for. Thank you again for sharing that. It's now my pleasure to introduce you to Jenny. Jenny's path to the U was pretty unique and she is living proof that it's never too late to do what you love. Unless, of course, you're one of the dinosaurs she's studying. Jenny, tell us about where you came from and where you are going. Thanks, Alex, and hello, everyone. I knew that when I was ready to take the leap and change my career, I wanted to go to the University of Utah. I went from a background in fashion design, product development, and art to geology and research. Growing up as a Utah native, I've had the most beautiful geology right here in my backyard. Because the University of Utah is a research facility, I've had the opportunity to learn from world-class researchers who are doing groundbreaking research and are extremely active in their field. For example, I've worked on the Zeiss microscope to image Allosaurus bones and study how they grow for the Natural History Museum, which is right here on campus. I also studied ancient Roman shipwreck cargo to identify the origin of deposits and did top secret work for the Department of Energy. And if I told you, well, you know the drill. At the University of Utah, I've had a variety of experiences from whipping up some blender code at a department coffee hour, sending it over to the Marriott Library, to the 3D printing lab. And the next day, I could be out on the Great Salt Lake kayaking with my girlfriends. I've learned inclusion skills through volunteering in civil rights and social action groups like URGE, unlearning racism in the geoscience to improve accessibility, justice, equality, diversity, and inclusion. And I've made meaningful career connections through the local chapter of AEG, the Association of Environmental Geologists. Undergraduate research and campus involvement has given back 10 times and has made me competitive in the job market and for grad school. That's it for me. Back to you, Alex. Fascinating stuff, Jenny. Your research sounds incredible and I'm blown away by your willingness to find a new passion and go all in. Thanks for teaching us about your experience studying geology and geographic information science. It is fascinating work. Thanks again. From the learning abroad opportunities available on seven continents to the varied cuisine served up by food trucks on campus, this is truly a global place. And no one makes a stronger contribution to that feeling than the international students in the school community. Here's Manahil from Pakistan, talking about why she chose the U. I am an international student from Pakistan. Since I come from a country with very low literacy rates, I have always been very passionate about my education. I chose the U because of its peaceful environment, distinctive beauty, and amazing academic program. I've especially loved being an active member of the Benyon Center, a community engagement hub on campus. Not only has it allowed me to make lifelong friendships with diverse people, but it has also offered me unique opportunities and life-changing experiences. From doing Saturday service projects, like building cat shelters and making breakfast for the homeless, to leading justice programs like Alternative Breaks and hosting student-led awareness dialogues, there's not much the Benyon community doesn't do. With the use many partnerships and access to organizations, I've also been able to gain experience working as a volunteer with homeless patients at Fort Street Clinic and as a counselor with cancer patients at Camp Hobie. Fun events hosted by the Residential Hall Association, like the Dreamscape slash Escape Room event and the Neighborhood Night, also enable students of differing majors and class standings to mingle with each other. I've learned so much in the two years I've been here and I can't wait to see what this year has in store for me. I'm hoping to work with like-minded people wanting to make a long-lasting change in this world, as well as get into med school. 
Thanks for listening to my story. Back to you, Alex. Amazing, Manahil. I'm impressed that even as a busy pre-med student, you have put so much time and care into your work with the Benyon Center. Keep up that great work, and thanks again for sharing that. Let's get to know Taylor, a third year student majoring in biology and minoring in chemistry and pediatric clinical research. Taylor is going to share how the U has supported her and other female identifying students as they pursue degrees and careers in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. It's your turn, Taylor. Being a first generation college student, I worked extremely hard in high school and applied for many scholarships, and the work paid off. Now I'm studying my passions of STEM and medicine. I attended many summer programs and events at the University of Utah and fell in love with the environment and support seen throughout the faculty and students. I had the opportunity to be a part of a program to access, a first year program for incoming freshman females majoring in STEM, and for those who demonstrate a passion for it. Some of my favorite memories from the Access summer experience were hiking and learning more about biological research, going to a star party late at night to gaze at the night sky, and having guest speakers from each discipline at a capstone debate where we applied our knowledge of what we learned from our summer experience. Aside from the STEM focus event, it was fun to going out to eat with friends and as well as going to the movies. From this experience, it helped strengthen my love for STEM and allowed me to have a support system of other like-minded and smart women in STEM. These fields continue to be male-dominated, but access means you're never alone. The university wants us to succeed. With the support of my peers around me and how willing the professors are wanting to help, I'm continuing to excel in my classes as well as having fun with my friends. Back to you, Alex. Appreciate it, Taylor. It sounds like you've struck the perfect balance between succeeding in rigorous coursework and enjoying the unique programs that you has to offer. Thank you for sharing your perspective with all of us and for reminding us to take the time to stop and gaze at the stars. One of the U's core values is leadership, giving students the skills and tools to drive positive transformation locally, regionally, and beyond. We're gonna hear from Ethan, a senior from St. George, Utah, who's taken this mission to heart. He'll tell us a bit more of what he's accomplished here at the U. Talk to us, Ethan. Hey, what's up, everyone? Surrounded by doers, dreamers, and innovators, choosing to attend the University of Utah was somewhat of a no-brainer for me. The entrepreneurial mindset and passion that radiates from our student body and faculty are contagious. While others are trying to think outside of the box, they're coming up with game-changing ways to utilize the box itself. The University of Utah allows us the opportunity, resources, and support to think freely to live in the world we want, not learn to live in the one that exists. And this isn't just sweet talk. Resources to enhance the student experience are in abundance here at the University of Utah. For example, one program, Opportunity Scholars, is geared towards first-generation college students to enhance community on campus. The program provides retention resources such as internships, networking events, community building, and so much more. I personally started a student-run company with some of my really close friends through the Lausanne Institute. I founded and serve as the co-president of a leadership club and a cryptocurrency club here on campus. I work as an associate for Ivory Innovations, where we work tirelessly every single day to help find solutions to the housing affordability crisis here in America. I even curated a sustainability impact initiative, which resulted in saving over 121,000 gallons of water every single year. None of this would be possible without the desire from faculty and students to continuously foster an environment of go-getters. The University of Utah has prepared me in more ways than I could have ever imagined. Instead of graduating with just a degree, I'm able to walk away from college with invaluable experiences that not only shaped who I am today, but more importantly, shape who I want to be in the future. And with that being said, Alex, back to you. Fantastic, Ethan. Thank you for sharing your innovative ways of making an impact. Given the fact that University of Utah is ranked in the top five for clean energy use among colleges and universities in the US, I'm sure your contributions to environmental health are greatly appreciated. Nicely done. 
You'll hear a lot of students say, the U feels like a family. For Samantha, the overlap between the university and her family is quite literal. Family tradition may have piqued her interest in coming here, but she has forged her own path as a biology major and researcher. What's your story, Samantha? Hey, Alex, and welcome to the U. I come from a strong line of University of Utah alumni, starting with my grandpa back in the 1970s and my parents who met here. After my older sister, the torch of Utah spirit has been passed to me. Being a top tier one research university, I knew that wherever my education went, it was going to be one of the best in the nation. I am extremely lucky to say that I have been placed in one of the prestigious research labs here on campus. I am currently working as an undergraduate researcher in the Dr. Michael Werner lab, where we work in epigenetics, studying the molecular mechanisms behind phenotypic plasticity, which is essentially how genetic material can express itself differently based off of developmental conditions experienced. From the moment I interviewed with Dr. Werner, I knew that this was the place I wanted to work. He's super engaging as a mentor to me and always makes sure I have the support I need to use this research to forward me in my studies. I get the unique opportunity to lead my own project focusing on the prevalence of diet and metabolism in this phenomena in tiny little microscopic worms called nematodes. As a biology major, I could have just learned the basic science and be sent on my way to a typical college. But the University of Utah focuses on how learning can be deeper than just simple knowledge and open incredible career starting opportunities for all of its students, even those who are just starting out their journey like myself. I am definitely very lucky to go to such a beautiful school. Don't you think, Alex? I'm with you, Samantha. Your research in epigenetics sounds absolutely mind-blowing, and I can't believe you're already leading your own project as a sophomore. It's evident that the U not only supports you in gaining knowledge, but in creating and discovering it as well. Thank you very much for your contributions. We're gonna hear now from Hallie, a junior majoring in health and kinesiology while minoring in music. The U is full of great students, not only from Utah, but from across the country and around the world. Hallie, who calls McKinney, Texas home, is gonna tell us about why she decided to come to the U. Thanks, Alex, and hey, everyone. Growing up, I always heard stories from my dad and grandfathers about their time at the U. And let's just say that I wanted in on the action. But getting here took many more miles than I imagined. As an out-of-state student from North Texas, I traveled further than most to get a college education. When my friends decided on schools in Texas, my heart was leading me elsewhere, to the University of Utah. This took a lot of courage since I knew zero people on campus, and that's not an exaggeration. Over time, through living on campus, campus jobs, and other organizations like University Choir, I made some of the best friends that I could have hoped for and really made a home for myself here in Salt Lake City, which, not to mention, is home to some of the greatest natural wonders. It's been exciting trying things I'd never done before, like hiking and skiing and even driving through canyons. From spring break road trips to Zion National Park, summer days at Bear Lake, and post-class ski days at Park City, which is just 35 minutes away, the university is a great place to be for the adventurer. Part of what made my time here possible is the University of Utah scholarships for out-of-state students. They recognized my achievements in high school and made me feel like a valued member of the university. The university is all that I've dreamed of and more. It's been fun taking classes in the same classrooms as my dad and working in the same buildings that my grandparents were in at my age. I'm so happy that I chose to come here and I'm super excited for my future here. So, what's next, Alex? That's a great story, Hallie. Going to college far away from your family and friends is a challenge, but it's clear your adventurous spirit has found a home here. I'll have to check out the U's array of outdoor recreation rentals so I can explore Utah for myself. This campus location is amazing. Thanks again for that. Okay, so there's a typical stereotype that the arts and athletics don't mix, but that couldn't be further from the truth for Connor. Connor is a senior getting his BFA in the actor training program, but he's also an avid sports fan. 
He'll tell us about some of the U's athletic traditions, including the gymnastic team, which holds the record for the largest collegiate women's sporting event ever attended. Take it away, Connor. Thanks, Alex. What's poppin', guys? Growing up, I loved athletics, so it definitely helped that when I moved to Utah, there was a university right up the road that excelled at almost every collegiate sport. Now, education's extremely important, but so is having a great time. And I've made some of my best memories here at the University of Utah thanks to the different athletic events. From pre-game tailgating to partying it up in the must, our student section, the fun lasts not only during the games, but also before and after. Now, when it comes to tradition, the University of Utah does it like no one else. The first tradition that immediately comes to mind is our classic rivalry game against BYU every year. Uh, let's just say it hasn't been much of a fair fight, considering we currently lead the series 64 to 35. Now, I'd love to be humble about all of our programs here at the University of Utah, but with all the success we've had, I gotta brag a bit. In football, we've won 17 bowl games, two of which were the Sugar and the Fiesta Bowls. We're constantly in the top 25 in the nation, and we produce talents like Alex Smith, Steve Smith, Eric Weddle, and over 150 players at the pro level. Now, football is great and all, but it would be a crime if I didn't talk about our gymnastics program, which is consistently top five in the nation and even had three of our gymnasts head to Tokyo in 2021 for the Olympics. Well, that's it for me. I've had a blast talking about the different athletic events and traditions here at the University of Utah, and I can't wait to see what memories and events have in store for me here at my final year at the University of Utah. Back to you, Alex. Good stuff, Connor. The University of Utah's athletic prowess is impressive and clearly gives the students a lot to rally behind. It's great that nearly all sporting events are free to students and that you've gotten to experience their legacy of excellence firsthand. Go Utah. Let's talk to Cassie, who hails from Chilchimbato, Arizona. A multidisciplinary design major and ethnic studies minor, Cassie is a member of the Diné tribe. She's gonna share how her community back home has provided focus to her time here at the U. Take it away, Cassie. Thanks, Alex, and hello, everyone. I am so excited to share my experience as a first-generation Diné student. I grew up alongside my Diné peoples on the Navajo Reservation. For my Native community, we recognize higher education as a tool of empowerment and resiliency for future generations to come. I chose the U to stay connected to my Indigenous community and to fulfill my mission as an Indigenous designer to amplify my community's knowledge and insight. I have found the U to be the best place where I can foster both my design research and community engagement. My job as a student is to listen to everyone's voices and retell their stories as if they were telling their own. The skills I am learning from the design program, I apply and give back to my Indigenous peoples. I have had the opportunity to perform for the United Nations Conference and become a Native Youth Mentor with the Urban Indian Center in Salt Lake City, where I pass down my cultural knowledge to the next generation. I have danced at various events such as the University's Intertribal Powwow held every spring right here in the Student Union. The Intertribal Student Association, ITSA, became my university family, where we support and care for one another. We host many community events such as the American Indian Woman Scholar Pageant and Game Nights. Both the design program and the U have shown me the skills to be a good designer, but it has also challenged me to think critically about ways to strengthen resiliency with my Indigenous community to create lasting impacts for future generations to come. Ahia, and back to you, Alex. Thank you, Cassie. We appreciate learning about your heritage and your exemplary leadership as a student and a community member. It's amazing how you have combined critical thinking, cultural awareness, and creativity into your designs. Thank you again for sharing that. Okay, everyone, look who decided to join us to wrap this episode. This is Swoop, the used mascot. He is awesome, and he's gonna close out this episode with something very special for you all. So it's a big world out there, and University of Utah students definitely have the big dreams to match. We want to thank our amazing new students from all around the world for sharing their stories. 
Researchers, entrepreneurs, dancers, designers, elite athletes, and community builders. And it feels like we're just scratching the surface here. Come visit and let them show you around some more. As stunning as all these images have been, you gotta see it in person. We hope to see you on campus real soon, everyone. Take care, and I'll let Smoop take it from here. Cheers, my man.